Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, also known as the Bowtie RN, and I'm back for another weekend shave. So I'm going on about a day and a half, which is kind of my standard for when I do my uh, weekend videos. But what I wanted to do to actually today was I'm actually going to use a new razor, a new razor for me. Uh, one of my friends got it for me for my birthday not very long ago, and what she got, what she got me was the the Leaf Brand Twig. So if you've not used the Twig, there's a separate videos out there. So I'm not going to go too crazy in depth, but on this one, you just twist the handle. That head pops up and out it moves out of the way. So it's a modified one-piece razor. Take the blades. Now I'm using the uh, the Leaf blades that came with it. You can also use any of the DE blades snapped in half or cut in half. I think once I run out of blades, which is going to be a very long time because I got the 50 pack, I'll probably cut blades instead of snapping them because I've heard it does make them a little bit easier to put in the razor. Once it's there and it does have a magnet to hold it in place, so completely upside down, not even moving. Take the handle, twist it back down, comes down and holds that razor in place nice and tight. Nice and straight, check that straightness. Looks good. So that's the razor we're using today. And I did get it actually with the uh, the whole travel case and actually has the nice stand. So that's the stand for it. It has a, it's actually a little bit shocked. It has a, a rubber ring on the bottom to protect the counter and keep it from sliding around too much. Soap today, what I'm gonna be using is the, I'm gonna use another Moondance soap. Today I'm going to be using the uh, Forest Pine for Moondance. Another light scent, but really nice. Um, I've used it a couple times already. Fills the bathroom with a nice kind of, not quite foresty, but kind of a little, little bit of a pine scent. Just doesn't, doesn't start to smell like Christmas yet. It's nice though. Um, what I do is like I say when I did in my last video, I go ahead and suck, my, suck the soap in a little bit of water. And then right before I'm ready to shave, I'll go ahead and dump that water off. I'm actually saving that water to help with building the lather instead of using water right out of the sink. So I have another little stainless steel bowl that I'm putting that in. I actually uh, don't remember who it was that recommended it, but instead of using warm water on the puck and going through the waste of letting the water heat up from this tap, I go ahead and just poured regular cold water right out of the tap onto it. Got nice and soft. I'm gonna be using my uh, Simpsons Trafalgar T2 Go ahead and get that a little bit wet. Shake out some of that water, don't want it too wet. And then take it right to the puck. Nice and slow, don't want to whip it up too much, get too much air into it. Whole point of this is just to get a little bit of soap into that brush before I start to build my, build my lather. Now I, I'm a, so far I've been a bowl lather. I did try a face lather the other day and it worked pretty well. I actually took the puck rubbed it straight on my face and then built my lather right on my face. Did a really good job. I actually probably had enough soap in the brush for four or five passes that I wanted to. I just, there was no reason for me to. So brush looks good. Go ahead and take that to the bowl. I actually have a new bowl. I actually borrowed my wife's bowl. She has a hammered copper bowl, kind of nice. She uh, found it on Amazon. A Little bit of texture on the inside and see how that does with building a lather. Take that brush right into there and start building it. I did already take my shower, so my face is still a little bit damp, but the hairs are nice and soft. I don't take very long showers. I'm ex-Navy, I was on a submarine, so it's really hard for me to take a long shower. I just, the water pres preservation we had to do on submarines did not allow for such things as a long shower. We called them Hollywood showers back then. I'm not sure if they still do, but it's been a while since I've been in the Navy, so they could have changed things up a little bit. We were making our own water, so we had to be careful about how much water we used in our showers. All right, add a little bit of water. And I can, you know, I'm taking some of the water from the water that I'd already poured off earlier and adding that into my bowl and help Add a little water into that lather, it's gotten a little bit pasty, so we'll go ahead and continue to build that lather up. I already know I'm gonna need more, wa more water than that. Put some more in. I've actually switched off to using a syringe. It's actually a medication syringe that you can get from the pharmacy. 
so I can control how much water in I add in there a little bit easier. Lathering up nice. I'm not sure how much how long it's going to take. I haven't done this way before. It's a new bowl for me. Technically, new bowl for my wife, but we'll see how it works. It's lathering well. I already know it's definitely going to be a lot of water this time. Go ahead and add, hopefully not too much, and see how it does. So right now, kind of looking like this. Not a ton, but it's getting there. I know there are a lot of guys out there that are face lathering, and I, I like I said, I did do I did try it the other day. It was nice. Um, it worked for me, but even with the synthetic brush, I did feel like it was starting to get a little bit irritating on my face. I, I, went, I went ahead and I did a, a three pass shave that day. So lathering on my face three times, just a little bit annoying for me. Um, I know there's a lot of guys out there that have the really high end brushes and maybe they work a lot better for that, but not saying this is a bad brush because I absolutely love this brush, but Lathering on the face three times was a little bit much for me. Soap's performing really well so far. Looks nice. I think I actually got a little more water than that. Looks really nice so far. I think I'll go a little bit more water. Hopefully I don't waterlog the soap, but we'll see. If I have to, I can always pull a little bit more soap off the puck. That's the joy of working in a bowl. You can add more water, you can add more soap, whatever you need. I don't want to be too wasteful, but I want to have enough lather in there to go ahead and do the shave. Actually, another benefit of doing this is it makes the bathroom smell great. It's starting to smell like a little bit of a pine forest, a young pine forest. Not quite the whole Christmas season yet. Of course, it's in the middle of summer, so we don't need it to smell like the Christmas season yet. But it does smell nice. And every time I've used these soaps, for the rest of the night when I come in the bathroom, I smell the soap. It just kind of reminds me that I had a good shave and it's a nice fond memory of those soaps, um, those scents. All right, I think I've got enough in there, quite a bit in the bowl, quite a bit on my brush there, and we'll go ahead and get ready for the actual shave. I think my face is kind of dried up a little bit, go ahead and get it wet real quick. I'm not using a pre-shave today. Again, I, I kind of like trying out these soaps until I get used to them and see how they function without pre-shave. Leather's looking nice. So I read the package insert on these soaps the other day, and I knew they were a small batch artisan out of North Carolina, but they actually only make about 15 bars or 15 pucks in each batch. So a very small batch. They add a, a bentonite clay to theirs to help with that slickness. And for me, at least, it works really well. Sometimes I do circles, sometimes I do lines. It just all depends on what I feel like doing that day. I haven't got enough on there. I'm gonna put that on the side. Get some of that soap all in my hand, I'm back in the bowl. All right, get that razor. And I'm big on the cold water shave, so rinse that water in the nice cold water. Sorry, we got sideburns in the other mirror. All right. So I've been using the leaf this week. I'm sorry, the twig. It's made by leaf. Use it every day, except for Monday this week. And I got the razor on Monday, so. 
wasn't my birthday, but a little bit late. She was actually out of town on my birthday, so she wasn't able to give it to me. All right, doing good so far. If you haven't used the twig before, Leaf sells two versions. They have the twig and the thorn. I have not tried the thorn. I only have the twig. But from what I hear and from their website, the thorn is a slightly more aggressive version. This one is extremely mild. One thing I do appreciate about the twig is it's got that angle already built in for you. So really you just ride the, ride the cap. It sets up sets up the perfect angle for your shave. I do have a little bit of a nick there. I, I got a skin bump earlier and I don't know what it even was, but I took the top of that off. I'll have to be more careful. first pass. Like I said, we're going on a day and a half and all day, all week this week, I've been actually shaving every day. So this is as long as I've gone in between shaves with the twig. Still doing a decent job. Like I said, it's really mild. We'll see how well it does for the rest of this shave. All right, there's still plenty of lather on that brush. So what have you guys been up to this summer? Just starting off, I'm not sure if all the schools are out, but schools here are out. My son's actually homeschooled, but we follow the, well, my wife. My wife follows the same schedule as the county. I need a little bit more water on that. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's my hand off some of that soap. I haven't noticed the twig being too slippery yet, but I don't want to take that chance. It's got some knurling right here and then a little bit more at the base, but in between it's a fairly slick razor. All right, second pass. Cross the grain. Like I said, just simply ride that top cap. That's the angle for you. If anyone didn't notice, actually, that's my uh, Navy tattoo there. I said it was on submarines. And that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun underway. You'll be surprised, they're actually not bad to work on. Never had any problems with claustrophobia. 
It's really just like working inside and not having windows to look out all day long. A lot of people work like that, so really wasn't a big deal at all. Second pass, we'll see if I need a third one. A couple times this week, I've just needed a little bit of a cleanup. Let me handle a little bit wet and see how it feels. Cheeks feel good. A little bit underneath. That's kind of my normal. All right, get that brush. The last bit of that soap on. Still quite a bit of soap in the bowl. I'll get some more on my face though. Still smells good. I love the smell of that one. I think this is kind of my new my new favorite. Thought it was gonna be the eucalyptus, but I'm really thinking I like this fresh pine. I'm oh, sorry, forest pine. section to clean up. All right, everything feels good off that razor put it back on the stand and I'll clean that up after I'm done I do like to clean my razor every single time I shave I don't like to worry about that water buildup I'm on well water here so it's, it's pretty good water but I don't want to take the chance of lime scale buildup or anything on my razors so I do clean them every week or so at least I clean the one that I've been using that week but I don't want that soap to build up all right, warm water rinse. Sorry, I have to do a little bit of long one rinse, longer rinse with this soap to get the last of that slipperiness off. Looks good. Switched over to nice cold water. Let it run a little bit. All right. Cold water lens. Everything looks good, except for the water on my glasses. I can deal with that. Allen block, get that nice and wet. All right, no stinging, no burning, even a little spot where I thought I nicked myself. Never really did see any blood, but it did get a little bit red. All right. Uh, real quick wrap up. So today, what I used was the uh, the Leaf Twig Razor, and I went ahead and used Leaf Brand the half blades in that. I used the uh, Moon Dance Forest Pine, and I went ahead and used the hammered copper bowl that my wife let me borrow for. I already rinsed it out. 
So you can see kind of the texturing on the inside, kind of nice. Again, I use a warming plate, so the smooth bottom on this sits on the warming plate, conducts heat really fast. It's that got copper just pulls that heat in, no problem. If you put it on the counter, it's gonna cool down pretty fast, but on the warming plate, it stays warm really well. All right, um, that's it for my shave. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up, wash that all, hell them off and pick one of my aftershaves. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do today. Probably just go ahead and stick with the, uh, the Clubman Panade, the vanilla. It's one of my favorite ones. I think it goes well with the, with the pine scent. All right, we'll see what you're doing for the rest of the weekend. Have a good weekend. And until I do another video, have a great time and great shaves, everybody.